Let's take a look at finding um, probabilities uh, given standard normal distributions. First, let's take a look at how do we determine it's a finding probabilities for a standard normal distribution. So let's look at our flow chart. And uh, get my tablet to work. There it goes. So we're going to find the probability. Now remember there's uh, different words for probability. Uh, another word for probability is area, percentage, proportion. So it could ask you to find any of those. Now if it actually says standard normal distribution And that's the section we're looking at. So we're looking at that piece right there. Now some of the other pieces. This is where you have one item. So you find the probability. And um, it's something like this. Uh, find the probability that uh, the average age of a person is greater than 50. So we're talking about one item, one person, one book, one whatever. And then we got um, many items. How this would uh, read is find the probability that uh, the average age of uh, 30 people is greater than 50. So instead of referring to one item, one person, uh, one book, whatever, we're talking about many. And then the uh, last one is when you got the normal as an approximation. Now this is definitely not all of them. But these are the four main ones. Normal is approximation of the binomial. It'll actually say these words, or it'll refer to an approximation, and it actually looks like a binomial problem. Now, the many items right here, that's also called the central limit theorem. So for this video, this is one we're looking at. Okay, let's look at our first example. We're wanting to find a probability that um, x is less than 2.1. Now, when they tell us it's a standard normal distribution, what they're telling us is they're telling us automatically that the mean, mu, is equal to zero, and they'll tell us the standard deviation is equal to one. And these are population values. Population mean, population standard deviation. That's sigma. Okay, let's draw this. So here's um, 2.1, and we're trying to find this right over here. So we're trying to find this area, this probability, this percentage, this proportion. Well, um, the um, HP prime function is based upon the area to the left, which is what we're looking at here. So this one we can just uh, type straight into our calculator. Okay, so I come over here, and um, if you're at apps here, then um, you know you could go into go into any of these if you want, but it doesn't matter which one you're in. Um, like if, I, if I'm in um, this one right here. If you press home, it'll get you here. If you're under apps, like you're right back here, if you press the home, it'll still get you here. So it really doesn't matter um, if you're at the home or in one of the apps. Just press the um, this button right here, the home button. Okay. And then I'm gonna press this on tool. It looks like a toolbox that brings up the menu, and we want the math option selected down here. And you see the fifth one is probability. So I'm gonna press the five that's in front of it, and that'll choose it. And then I want to choose cumulative. Cumulative is where you're adding up all the probability uh, cumulatively, and so that's what we're doing here. So I'm gonna choose six, and I want to choose the first one, normal. So I choose one. Okay. Now our parameters for this are mean, standard deviation, and then x. Well, with mean we said was zero. So I do zero, comma, 
standard deviation, which we said was 1, comma, and then um, 2.1. And again, this is based upon the area of the left. So 2.1, and then I'll press Enter. And that gives us 0 0.9821. And that'd be our probability. Okay, that's the less than case. Let's take a look at the greater than case. We got x is greater than 1.5. And again, um, we're assuming this is standard normal distribution. That's what the instructions say. Which again tells us automatically the mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1. Now, if I draw this, Here's 1.5, and greater than would be over here. Well, again, the um, HP prime is based upon the area to the left, so what we have to do is we have to rewrite this as 1 minus, and then here's 1.5. We rewrite it this way. Well, the um, 1 represents the entire um, uh, curve shaded. And if we subtract off the area to the left of 1.5, that'll give us the area to the right. And this is the way it always works. Whenever you got the greater than, you'll always rewrite as 1 minus, and then the uh, area shaded to the left. Well, now we're ready to plug this into the, um, the HP prime. So let me um, go back there. And first thing I'll do is I'll do a 1 minus. And then choose my uh, toolbox, the little menu. And I want to choose probability, so I choose 5. You can also, I think this is a touch screen in HP Prime. But I want to choose, um, see, cumulative, number 6. Choose normal. And again, our mean is 0, comma. Standard deviation is 1, comma. And then uh, 1.5. and press enter and we get point um, 0668 if my eyes are seeing that right so that'd be our answer okay so we looked at the less than case we looked at the greater than case there's one other case it's where it's between two values so we're looking at probability um, that um, X is between or X is between 1.1 and let's say 1.7 and again um, the instructions uh, we're assuming is that it says it's standard normal which means our mean is 0 and our standard deviation is 1 okay well if I draw my picture here's 1.1 and here's 1.7 and we're shading in between Remember, the HP prime uh, function is based upon the area, the probability to the left. So how we're going to rewrite this is here's 1.7. <coughs> then I'll do a minus. And here's 1.1. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, imagine that, um, you know, here's, here's 1.1. Imagine you have this picture here. If we subtracted off the area to the left of uh, 1.1, that would leave us this shaded, which is what we're wanting. So when you got the between case, it's always of this form. So your larger number, you put here, and then you shade to the left. Minus, then you get your smaller number, and then you shade to the left. Now the benefit of this is both of these are based upon the area to the left, which is what the, um, I'm not going to use that, so I was just demonstrating. Um, which is what the HP Prime calculator is looking for. So we're now ready to plug it in. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first. So I'm going to do my um, toolbox. Choose 5 for probability. Choose um, 6 for cumulative. Choose 1 for normal. And I'll put in my mean, which is 0, comma, standard deviation, which is 1, comma, 1.7. And then I'm going to right arrow to get it out of that function, get it after the closing parentheses there. And then I'll do a minus, 
and then I want to put this one in. So I do my um, toolbox again, choose 5 for probability, choose 6 for cumulative, 1 for normal, and mean is 0, comma, standard deviation is 1, comma, 1.1. And so now we have this minus this. And I'll press enter. And our probability is, my eyes can see it, uh, 0 0.0911. 0 0.0911. Now sometimes they'll have a, a, a example or a problem in a book where it's like, uh, what's the probability that x is less than this value or x is greater than this value? Let me show you. I'm not going to actually work it, but you got probability that x is less than um, 0 0.5 or x is greater than uh, 1.7. Well, nothing special here. We looked at the less than case up above, so you'd calculate that. We looked at the, the greater than case up above, so you calculate that. And then this or, what that means is there's a plus between those. So you take the probability find here plus probability find here. And you could put this all in one statement if you wanted. But those would give you your answer. So there's nothing unique about this. Um, all the cases are covered by the less than, greater than, and between. And anything else might would just be combinations of these. Now, in this video, we took a look at uh, finding the probability of a standard normal distribution. In other videos, we'll examine these other three boxes.